Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about unbiased versus biased samples. Now this video is the first video in my series or my playlist on statistics for pre-algebra. So if you want to check out the entire unit of statistics for pre-algebra, you can go and check out the playlist that this video is located in. Um, I guess depending on what time you're watching this or what day you're watching it, there might not be any other videos in that playlist. <laughs> but hopefully if you're seeing this down the road, um, there'll be a full playlist there of videos that deal with statistics. All right, let's jump into this one. So first of all, let's talk about the definition. What is unbiased? What is biased? So unbiased would be a sample that is representative of a population and it's selected at random and it's large enough to provide accurate data. So kind of three stipulations there, representative of a population. Um, so large enough to represent a population that you're trying to figure out something about. Selected at random, so depending on what you're trying to uh, decide or figure out, uh, you don't want to just select people who have a vested interest in that idea. You want these people to be random. And lastly, large enough to provide accurate data. So we want to make sure that we're asking enough people so that it's not just limited to five or six individuals. Okay? Now for a bias sample, it's basically the opposite. So what is bias? It would be a sample that is not representative of a population and one or more parts of the population are favored over others. Okay, so obviously we can see some negative effects there for a biased sample that would lead to some invalid conclusions. So we'll talk about some conclusions uh, that we can make from samples and how do we can determine whether they are valid or invalid in the next video. So let's look at one example here just to determine if these samples would be biased or unbiased. So we wanna estimate the number of students in our school who start their math homework right after school. So which sample of these four would be unbiased would be a good one for us to go with. So first of all, um, option one is 36 grade students at random. So we do see the word random here, which is a good indication. However, it's just six grade students. So if we're wanting to find out in our school how many students start their math homework right after school, only asking students from one grade would not yield a good result. So we would not want to choose option A. Option B says all students in the math club. Well, all of these students are in one set group. They're in a math club. Not only are they in one set group, but they're in a math club. So of course, if there are students who are likely to start their homework right after school, it's probably gonna be the students that are in the math club, right? So this one is no good. It's not random enough. Five students in the cafeteria. Well, for that one, we want our sample to be large enough to give an accurate representation of our population. Well, if we're only asking five students, that would not be large enough. And lastly, every 10th student who arrives in the school, that would be an unbiased sample. It's every 10th student. We don't know who's gonna arrive to school at what time. So every 10th student should be as random as we could make it. And it's students who arrive at the school. So we don't know, once again, what grade these students are in. So it's gonna give us an accurate representation of our population, okay? So that's a little bit about the difference between a bias and an unbiased sample. 